Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be having a look at how to do a chair. I know it's pretty simple but there's a twist. We're going to be looking at the differences between Onshape and Fusion 360. You can see that the workspace is quite different and that the rendering is a bit different but let's get into it and see how different it really is. We're going to do the drawing in Onshape first and then we'll move on to Fusion. So we'll create a sketch on the top plane. I've selected the top plane. I can just push N to view normal to that plane. So now we're looking down on the top of our chair. I'm only going to draw half the chair and then I will mirror it to get the rest. So I'll draw that there and we'll set our dimensions. I'll just push D for dimension and that's going to be 500 millimeters and this one will be 210 so this is just half the seat and then the other half will be mirrored there next we'll draw a little square here zoom in a bit it'll be 40 and the side will also be 40 and we'll repeat that on this corner forty by forty so there we can see it's fully constrained what I'll do now is finish sketch and we're going to extrude these the seat will extrude up by 50 millimeters so that'll be the thickness of the seat And then we're going to extrude these down by 450 mils. So we'll extrude, we'll select these, that sketch, we'll turn it back on. These will go down 450 millimeters. So we'll go there, change the direction, and 450. So that's looking like half a chair. Next I will draw the backrest. I'm going to create a sketch on this face over here. And we're just going to have our backrest at a slight angle there. So I'll draw it up. Um, select the line tool and I'll just make a construction line here. And then another construction line in line with it there. This is just going to represent where we're drawing to. And this will be 500. So now I need this line to be coincident there. So I'll set this to be coincident with that. And I want to dimension this to get this angle. Um, my angle is 100 degrees. So we can see now we've got the backrest of the chair. But that doesn't really help me. I need to get this. We can either draw a profile there and sweep it. Or I can just offset this line. And then extrude it out. So I'm going to offset this line. And that will be... 30 millimeters and I want this to be coincident with that line and that point over there. I'll just close up the profile here. We can see we had a closed profile. Finish sketch and then we can extrude this out. That's going to be 210. So there we've got our half a chair. What I'm going to do now is go to mirror. We'll select the item we want to mirror. And the mirror plane will be our, I think that's the right plane we're going to be mirroring. The right plane. And there we go, we've got our chair. Now we're going to do the exact same thing in Fusion. 
We're going to create a sketch. We will select the top plane um, and then a two point rectangle. I just pushed R there for rectangle. You can see it selects it up there. Move it down and we want that to be 210 by 500 millimeters. Let's just zoom out so we can see that. Enter and there we've got our first profile. And then we're going to push R again for rectangle and this will be 40 by 40. You can see that uh, Fusion brings up the numbers before you click. There's a few things that are different between the two. Both of them perform quite well, um, but you guys can decide for yourself which one you think is better. So we'll finish sketch and then we'll extrude. This top section will extrude up 50 millimeters. Let's just make sure we include the legs there. Finished sketch. We can see now that the sketch has been turned off. We want to turn that back on and we will extrude then these legs and that goes down. I'm just going to, I can see the arrow pointing that way. So I'm going to go minus 450. I think that was the dimensions I used on the previous one. Enter. And there we've got the first half of the chair. Now we'll create a sketch on this side faced here. And it's just going to be a L for line tool. We're going to snap to that. And we can toggle. This is going to be 100 degrees. And now I'm going to do the same thing. Do construction lines. I don't actually need to put one over here. So let's just draw one across the top. Change the line type to construction. In on shape, all I did was push Q once I'd selected line. And it made a construction line. So there we've got that line and I will dimension this to, I think it was 50 or 500 mils. And then again, we just use our coincident constraint and they had shortened it for me. So basically everything is the same so far. It's just knowing where to find the different tools. I'm just gonna select the offset tool here and we'll select our line. And that is 30 millimeters, so Drag it out 30 millimeters, and we can see it's offset it at that angle. All we need to do now is make these points coincident. So it doesn't want to let me do that. What I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to just draw my line across. Because that's now fixed in place at that angle. So I can just trim this T for trim. Go down to the bottom and we'll extend this. over there you can see I have made it at an angle what I want to do is just you can just put in a constraint there to make it run the same angle so it's a straight line then we'll go to extrude command extrude it out and I'm going to go minus 210 and again we'll mirror so I just turned off the sketches there so we'll go, we'll go in here and select mirror. Select our component and the mirror plane will be the right plane and it's a join operation. So there we've got our chair but I'm not happy with that. So I'm going to show a bit of favoritism here and we're going to just edit the appearance a bit. I want to make that a blue. Let's type in blue, see what blues we got. Anodized blue, that's that's quite cool. We'll just make sure it's selecting the whole thing. And then if we wanted to, we could always apply a decal or whatever. But basically, I just wanted to show you the difference between Fusion and Onshape. They are extremely similar with this design. Um, there were some differences with selecting the distances and your dimensions. But for the most part, it's quite similar. So it's, it's nice to be able to work between programs. But I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe, leave a comment and stay tuned for more content.